Welcome to technical drawing. Today we will draw this sum in copy ISO. So first we will draw 30, 30, 30. Then if you see height is 40, length is 75 and width is 40. So first we will mark all these three dimensions and we will draw layout. I hope everyone knows how to draw this box. Now after that we will start with this part. See this 8mm. So you take 8mm from here and draw vertical line. So we are done with this part. Now if you see this is 40, 30. So 5 on both the sides. See I am going inside. I have to go inside by 5mm. So I will mark midpoint and I will mark 15, 15 on both the sides and then I will take 5, 5. So 5, 5 on both the sides. And then I'll complete this. Now after drawing this, I'll draw this surface, see which is inside. Remember this, we have to go inside by how much? 5mm. Then I'll mark 55. And then this height is 12. So I'll go up by 12. And from here it is this length. Then how much is this length? This is 25 minus 8, 17. So you can take 25 from here or take 17, whatever you want. After that, you join. And how much is this? 28. So you can mark 28. Then 10. You take a midpoint. How much is this height? 8 mm. Now see, this is 10, this is 60, 60 degree and height is 8 mm. So you draw this outside and find this value x. This is very important. Then take this value x and you cut on both the side. This is how you will be able to draw this dovetail slot. It's called dovetail slot. So you have to draw it outside. After completing this, I'll take this behind. How much I have to take it behind? 30, 25, 5. This is 5mm. This is 17. Or you can take it from front and you draw this behind part. Now, this length, how much? 5, 5 on both the sides. Then it goes inside. How much? by 12 you take a midpoint and from there you draw vertical line you take from midpoint you take 7 7 from center also you go up by 7 down by 7 and from here you join this longest diagonal and midpoint how we draw a circle you draw arc from here and from here I hope everyone knows how to draw this circle so you draw rhombus of side 14 and then you go ahead see this point and this points are important to drawing that circle now from here you go behind how much you to go behind this length actually it is 25 see this one one dash now from one you draw this arc and from one dash see this you take this radius from one dash again you draw that arc then you draw a vertical line and line like this now this part will go down by 20 and will extend this but we don't know where to stop 
and we know this is 30 5 5 on both the sides and we will draw this slope so wherever it is intersecting from there I will draw this see this now this distance is 4 mm so you take midpoint of this and take 2 2 mm on both the sides then again you take midpoint of this and take 2 2 mm on both the sides so this is how you will get slot now this is inside line now we need to draw circle to draw circle we need to find midpoint see this is radius 12 and this height is 8 so from what I, what we will do from here I will take 12 12 on both the sides I'll go inside and I'll go up by 8 mm because height is 8 mm and I'll extend this inside by 12 mm so we'll get this box of 24 by 8 then what we'll do from the center point I'll extend the line 12 12 12 12 so from center I'll go inside by inside by 12 and I will draw rhombus so we got rhombus of sides 24 because radius is 12 now draw longest diagonal and you join midpoint from the opposite point 2 so you'll get point 2 and 3 take 2 draw arc and from 3 you draw arc after that you take point 2 and 3 down by 8 mm so this is 3 dash this is 2 dash now from 2 to this radius go down by 2 dash go down till 2 dash and draw arc same way from 3 you take this radius go down and again you draw arc so you will get this circle go down this slot 4 mm and you just extend you will get this part so this way we have completed this sum I hope you people have understood this you can draw the remaining line and mark origin in 3030 thank you